Our next lesson plan is from the light, shadow and reflection chapter of class 6 taken from NCRT textbook. So as usual, at first we have our concept map. Here we can see that with the help of arrows we have depicted the relationship between concepts and subconcepts and sub subconcepts and on the arrows we have written the phrases or the linking phrases which depict the relationships after concept map we will move on to the usual format of our lesson plan date class time period unit subject topic and subtopic and next we come to the learning points After learning points, we have learning objectives. Again, the action verbs, the keywords like recognize, differentiate, discriminate, all these are taken from Bloom's taxonomy. Next is our previous knowledge of the learners. And then comes learning resources that are needed to be used in the classroom that day. After that, we have learning processes. Here we have clubbed two processes together like observation come discussion method, experimentation come discussion method. And then we move on to draw our table. Since this is a 5e lesson plan, so we will have five phases engage, explore, explain, expand and finally evaluate. Here starts explore. Again, I'm saying that since this is a constructivist lesson plan for a constructivist class, so the teacher initiatives are shorter than students' learning process or activities because in a constructivist class, student is the center of the teaching learning process, while teacher is just the facilitator. So teacher's job is just to help learners or to encourage them to take active part in the classroom processes while it is the students who are going to perform all the activities. So with that we come to evaluation and after evaluation we have home assignment. So here ends our lesson plan. Thank you.